The Kamas mine site has a lot of significance to the Sekene First Nations. Obviously, they've used that area for a long time. Kamas North was a new project that was proposed in that area as another open pit. The process is set up to be collaborative, so the, the only way that it actually can work is if the proponent and the First Nations groups are working together to come up with solutions to the different needs of all the stakeholders involved. The collaborative approach to the environmental assessment on the Kamas mine was imperative for a number of reasons. First, it was important that the province uphold its commitments that it has had with the Carrier Sukani First Nations, of which Takla is a signatory to. But more importantly, it was important to establish a government-to-government -government relationship with the Sekene Nations in order to build trust in the regulatory process and confidence within the communities that their interests were going to be heard through the environmental assessment. The one thing that really stands out to me is the environmental assessment office's willingness to be open and work with TKN to bring in a different approach to assessing the impacts and potential impacts to their interests. And, you know, this really involved moving away from the standard approach that the Environmental Assessment Office would typically take through an environmental assessment, and I think it was pivotal to the success of this project. Joint decision making isn't no, it's, it's coming together, figuring out the best possible way, being educated about it. This system here may be a little more rigorous, a little more uh, time consuming, maybe even a little more challenging at times. But at the end of the day, I think we have a much brighter future in doing it this way and a stronger ecosystem that we can all live by. We've held this example up as just a better way of working with nations. Um, and because we were able to think outside of the box and come up with some creative and innovative solutions for inclusion of Indigenous information needs, but also a recognition of the decisions that Indigenous nations would make throughout an environmental assessment process. So there was no problem that was too big for us to solve together because we had that trust and we were able to do that together. Sekene has become almost like a sub-proponent with us. So now, working through the process with the government, they're equally as engaged in getting the permit for the project as we are. So they can see all the, all the benefits of our project, including jobs and economic development and uh, building capacity within the community. So they're really keen on getting the project to go ahead. That helps everybody through the whole process. So, it's a really great time for us as, as partners in this project.